All right, if you've ever owned or worked on a Kawasaki liquid-cooled engine, you've experienced this. The good old leaky valve cover. Um, <clears throat> you can see these valve covers are sealed with an O-ring. What happens is, over time, that O-ring just bakes tight against the uh, cylinder head, against the machine surface there. It just flattens out. Well, or in the case of this one here, the engine got a little hot, valve cover actually melted, um, but pretty much no matter what, anybody that's ever been around one of these things, you know, they, they're just going to leak. Um, you can replace that O-ring, it might make a difference for a little while. Um, you end up getting these spots like right over here, where you can see that, where it's just the valve cover is just deformed from heat. So <clears throat> what we like to do is replace the valve cover and when you start out with a nice fresh new valve cover instead of using the o-ring use the gasket these are actually made to go on the aluminum valve covers but you can see there perfect match fits right over it seals up no problem nice even fit and uh, lasts a lot longer than the o-ring does and this is an actual Kawasaki part um, part number for this this uh, valve cover gasket is a 11061-2199 and that's straight from Kawasaki. Now as far as valve covers, uh, yeah, obviously you can see that one there's a bad one. Yeah, the corner's all melted up and everything. But if you have a spot like this right here, where you can see that, you can see that lip right there, that formed from heat. Here you can see it again on this corner. It doesn't matter what you put on there, an O-ring or a gasket, that needs replaced. That valve cover is junk. Here you see a good one, what it looks like. Nice flush mating surface there, all the way around. And like I say, even though these have the O-ring groove cut in them, you can still use the gasket, it'll seal up and work just fine. Save you money over time because you won't have to replace the valve covers again as soon or the gaskets or O-rings again as soon. So I'll just leave the O-ring out, put the gasket in there, and uh, you're good to go. So you take your new valve cover, no O-ring, gasket, get lined up, put one of your screws up through there in one corner. And put another one up through in the other corner and just put it back on the As cylinder. You can see head. here um, the fact you can put this on, have the bolt started through there, lines everything up perfectly. That way you don't have to worry about that o ring falling out of there or anything like that and getting pinched and cut. Just put this gasket on and it goes right into place and good to go. And don't be fooled into thinking it's only on the vertical shaft engines that this happens. Um, here we have a John Deere 445 with the horizontal shaft liquid cooled Kawasaki you can see it's the same thing oil just poured down through from the uh, valve cover area there um, it's actually got the the uh, hole for the spark plug you know oil's laying in there it's running down over the side of the engine down onto the mower deck yeah it just makes a mess everywhere the so best thing to do here, just replace that valve cover because you know it's going to be shot. It's not going to have a very good sealing surface left on it. And uh, put a gasket in there instead of the O-ring. It'll seal up for a good long time. Um, and for all you guys that still believe that nothing runs like a deer, you might want to close your ears here. But this doesn't happen just on the John Deere engines. Uh, Kawasaki has these engines and other brands such as Kubota, uh, Cub Cadet, just to name a few. So... If you've got this problem where you put a new O-ring in there and it still keeps leaking after maybe a week or two or maybe a couple months, now you know how to fix it. Replace that valve cover, put a gasket in there instead of the O-ring, and you'll be good to go.